an inspired thought exists somehow outside of time. It's almost as if you can have a thought or an idea that is fully formed. It's already fully conceived. And yet, this, this full conception, this full potential of the idea exists in a timeless space. And when we try and see how that aligns with linear time and the nature of material reality, we start to understand that that initial spark and that initial feeling of enthusiasm doesn't necessarily have a, a date and a time attached to it. The relevance of this is, and speaking from my experience, I've had uh, a lot of experiences of being overwhelmed with creative ideas. I'm really struggling you know, with the process of bringing forth these ideas. I've got more than one story um, based in fiction that feels as if it's already written. It feels like it's there. It's on the periphery of my consciousness. And the process of materializing that involves using language to chisel away at the marble of the idea, to start to reveal it in a way that can be shared with other people. Creative overwhelm can come from a place of struggling to materialize all the different creative ideas that you have. But what if we started to view this differently? What if it's possible that an inspired thought is infused with energy and, and an abundant kind of enlivening form um, that you can tap into? And yet that essence is outside of time and that essence doesn't have a place, a concrete place in the material. And when it comes to our own creative ideas, maybe it's a case that they do have their own divine timing and that we might get a significant prelude or what some people call a download that hints at something significant. And yet there's still an element of mystery to it. There's still an element of the unknown. We might not know when this idea is supposed to be manifested. We might just get a sense in our intuition that the time is right to start working on this idea. Or it could be that simply this idea isn't to be worked on just yet. Maybe there's something else in the ether that is waiting to add to the idea. Maybe there's something in your life that will give you a different perspective on it. The idea of an inspired thought being fully formed in itself and almost perfect in that form is really something that challenges the kind of status quo of creative thinking. And my sense is that this does happen, that some people are kind of zapped with a creative idea. And the gift really is how you construct that, how you bring it forwards from its original essence. And a gifted uh, writer, for example, might be able to just put language to that essence, put language to those ideas, and this also makes me think about the balance between talent and a gift. You know, it's definitely the case that some people might have that seeming mysterious X factor when it comes to creative inspiration and being receptive to creative ideas. But the hard work is understanding how to materialize that, how to make it a reality. These inspired ideas aren't only linked to creative projects, but also to a form of creative living. In my experience, I've had many ideas that I've, I've said to myself, you know, one day I will do this. This is something that feels alive for me. It's gonna happen. And yet time goes on and for whatever reason, the timeline of materializing that inspired idea in my life is something I could never predict. And there is a balance to be found between procrastination and delaying on acting upon an inspired thought, but also accepting that the conscious part of the mind that tries to conceive and plan and organize might not have enough access to the deeper truth of that idea. And it could be that we, you know, within ourselves, we kind of access this timeless space and from that space, we get a, pre, a prelude and an insight, even a prophecy into something that will arrive and be manifested in our lives far off in the future. Can we predict exactly when that will be? 
No. Can we predict if this is something that is guaranteed to happen? Also, no. But we can be curious, we can follow that North Star of inspiration and see where it leads. If we adopt a growth mindset along the way, then we're bound to pick up valuable lessons and start to really refine and tune in our intuition when it comes to an inspired thought. What is the action that needs to be taken? Is there a call for patience? Have you just received a download of something so significant that it is actually your life's work and you're gonna spend the next 10, 15, 20, 30, 40 years working on that? It also makes me think of intrinsic and extrinsic motivation. Intrinsic motivation is doing something for the, the joy of it being carried forwards with um, an inner sense that this is worthwhile, regardless of the outcome. And extrinsic is the opposite. That's focused more on results and rewards. I wonder if inspiration in itself is the fuel to take an action in certain ways, even if the direction isn't clear where we're moving, it just inspires us to move, it energizes us to, to kind of explore different ideas. And maybe we end up going somewhere we couldn't predict. But as long as we tap into that intrinsic inspiration and we forget about the results, incredible things can happen along the way.